Immune response The immune system protects the body against invaders such as bacteria and viruses. The skin serves as an important first line of defense against foreign invaders. The breaching of the skin, for example, by a splinter could provide a route for bacteria to enter the body. These invading bacteria are regarded as non-self substances by the body's immune system, thus triggering an inflammatory response in an attempt to destroy the invading agents. A special type of WBC, known as a macrophage, engulfs the non-self bacterium, reducing it to tiny remnants, known as antigens which are displayed on the external surface of the macrophage, thus serving as an antigen-presenting cell or APC. This alerts the body's other macrophages to the presence of bacteria in the body. The macrophage also communicates with these cells by releasing cytokines, which fit snugly into the receptors of the cells, much like a lock and key mechanism. This results in the increase in the number of macrophages at the site of the inflammation. Additionally, some of the normal cells also function as antigen-presenting cells by ingesting some of the bacteria and displaying the antigens on their surface. This type of immune response is immediate and non-specific and is known as innate immunity. However, as the macrophages cannot destroy all the invading bacteria in the body, they proceed to the peripheral lymphoid tissues such as the lymph nodes in order to alert other immune cells to the inflammatory response taking place in the body. As lymph nodes function as a gathering place for several of the cells of the immune system, the macrophages are able to activate the T and B cells, which are different types of WBCs, which are then able to mount an immune response. This type of immune response is specific and as it takes the body a longer time to mount such a response, it is known as acquired or adaptive immunity. T helper cells are stimulated by interleukin-1 secreted by the antigen presenting macrophages and in turn secrete interleukin-2, which help in the activation of other immune cells, especially cytotoxic T-cells and B-cells. Cytotoxic T-cells bind to the antigen on the antigen-presenting cells and secrete chemicals, which in turn destroy these cells. This type of adaptive immunity involving the cytotoxic T-cells is known as cell-mediated immunity. Activated B cells could be of two types, plasma cells or memory B cells. Plasma cells secrete antibodies that bind to the antigens on the surfaces of the antigen-presenting cells or bacteria, which are then destroyed by the macrophages. This type of adaptive immunity involving the plasma cells and antibodies is known as humoral immunity. The memory B cells, along with the memory T cells, survive for several decades and mount a secondary immune response to a future infection by the same pathogen. This same principle is employed during the vaccination of children and adults against common infectious pathogens.